Yeah, baby. Mako 360. Scored me a Mako 360. From XC Gear. Pretty sweet. And I got this dashboard plate to mount a Garmin on it. And put my Zoom, Zoom OXT on there. This is an impact vibration reduction system. It takes out the vibration in the bars from the bike. Use these polymers. And it's got this shark bite, holds the bars in place. But this this thing's pretty awesome. I ordered one up. XC Gear. It's a Lance down in Mississippi. Pretty cool company. Pretty cool products. Everybody says this is the best, but uh, I'm gonna find out. I'm not gonna do an install video. I'm just gonna mount mine up. They're pretty easy. You can just go by XC Gear's video. It's pretty easy to do. Just torque it down. Okay, there's two mounting holes for the handlebar mounts on the 500 and 350 XEs, right? And then on these, it's offset one way or the other, right? To go a little bit further than the other. If you put it the furthest way out on the top hole, it hits the speedometer. It doesn't quite line up. But I'm just gonna rotate it where it's forward, but not all the way as far forward as it possibly could, but I'm still mounting it on the top hole. If you're a bigger guy and you need to go all the way up, you probably have to figure out some way to mount that. And I put the shark bite on, but you leave it loose. I got these on. I put the shark bite on before I put the polymers and put it on. But you don't tighten it down until you're late last. And these are the rubbers he sent me based on my size and weight. Blue for the shark bite and then the orange for the... I got it all torqued down. Eight foot pounds of torque is what it is. My angle is about what I want. It's kind of hard to see the lines to see where I'm at with this, but <clears throat> I'll adjust it if I need to. But uh, this is what it looks like. Now let's go see how it feels. Looks something like that. Bowser. I just need to get it wired up and mounted. The Mako 360 out on the road and see how it goes. It feels a lot better. A lot better. Does it eliminate everything? I don't know that it eliminates everything. I have pro taper bars on. They're the first ones, the originals or whatever they're called. But it feels a lot better. It's like these single thumpers, when you get them up higher in the res, like it vibrates. It feels really good. I'm going to take it off-road. I don't know how much, but I'll do a little bit. Man, there's a lot of Smokies around here. But why did I buy the Mako 360? The first thing is the reviews are really good. They're really good. Uh, a lot of people that have them say they're phenomenal. Now, a lot of people say these are the best. I haven't tried all the other ones, but I know that this weighs less than the other one that's out there whatever it is it's the other popular one that's out there even with this plate to like mount a gps onto later it's still not as heavy as the other option i don't think the other option is as light as this it's cheaper but it's not as quality and i don't know that it gives you like the dampening effect that the mako 360 does and the other thing is like they're made in the usa it's a company in mississippi xc gear so you don't have to wait for restock and all that shit. You can just get it and go. Have it mailed right to you. Now, the other thing is, I didn't know if I wanted to run a stabilizer or not. I have a Scott's steering dampener. I might put it on here, but I wasn't for sure if I was going to or not. So I didn't buy the option with the 360 Mako for the Scott steering dampener. Now Lance makes, XC Gear makes all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of options for this. Different bikes. Uh, he's doing motocross ones that are even lighter than these. And a lot of motocross guys are running them. There's different options for mounting. You do a stabilizer on top, stabilizer on bottom, 
different GPS mounts. This is a dashboard plate that like you can mount regular GPS stuff too. It's pretty cool and there's tons of options, so check it out. I chose to go the route without the steering stabilizer underneath. I figure I'm just gonna put a Scott stabilizer under the bottom underneath it. If I choose to go that route. I'm probably going to, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it all the time, so that's kind of why I went the other way. I wanted to get a little bit off-road, nothing too crazy, but a little bit, just see how it feels. And I can tell you right away, it feels really good. Really good. The 360 Mako shines off-road. I really like it. Like I said, I haven't done a whole bunch off-road with it, but we will. I'll put it to the test eventually. <laughs> some single track stuff with it i just wanted to get it mounted up see how it goes yeah but that's a mako 360 i'm pretty happy about it i love my first impressions of it it's pretty awesome quality product looks good i'll do a separate video mounting my zumo xt and uh, if i do a stabilizer i'll do a video on that but i'm pretty happy with the purchase yeah i want to set it up for myself should be pretty good but yeah, that's the Mako 360, my first impressions. Mounted it up. I'll do an extended review on it later. Appreciate all the support. Hope you liked the video. I'll see you on the next one.